With a simple snip, officials in Tulsa unveil the Pathway to Hope, a new pedestrian walkway that symbolically links the Greenwood neighborhood with the rest of the city. That connection, many argue, was severed when an interstate was built right through the community half a century ago. It is part of Tulsa's rich and sometimes tragic history that's gradually come to light. We're seeing not just locally but nationally uh, that the sharing of this history, history is really resonating with people. Tulsa resident Vanita Cooper points to the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre in which hundreds of black Tulsans died at the hands of white attackers in a violent rampage that's now being remembered exactly 100 years later. Our role really was, you know, it's time for the world to know about this. What can we do to elevate this? Phil Armstrong says that's how the centennial commemoration he helped organize got started six years ago, before details of the massacre became more widely known. Now it's where do we go from here? And it's about healing, it's about truth telling. It wasn't something that she liked to talk about. William Gibbs' mother was 15 years old when she fled the white mob in Greenwood. She looked back and saw houses being burned and people being killed. So it definitely affected her. Virtually all of the victims of the Tulsa Race Massacre remain unaccounted for today. The attempt to find and identify their remains began only fairly recently. Reparations for massacre survivors has yet to take place. This is a moment now where the eyes of the world are on Tulsa. It's a time to teach them about the massacre, but also to teach them about this incredible Greenwood neighborhood. The culture of the neighborhood has been on full display over the past few days. This festival along Greenwood Avenue, once known as Black Wall Street, is one of many events taking place this week around the city. The Greenwood Rising History Museum, right down the block, is on the verge of opening too. Its focus, the massacre, as well as broader issues. Like um, police community relations, Black Lives Matter, mass incarceration, educational deficits, healthcare disparities, and on and on and on. Offering a through line between history and the present at a time when racial tensions are never far from the surface. Security at a Greenwood church has been tight. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security has warned that the commemoration could be targeted by white supremacists. It's a shame that people don't grow from what they experience or what they see. Progress has been made, I'll give it that, but we have so much further to go. To accomplish that, Gibbs says learning from the past at gatherings like these is key. I think it's always good to know where you came from, to get a better feel for where you're going and how you're going to get there. That uncertain path to hope is one that Tulsa and many other cities in the U.S. are now traveling. Hendrix Abrandi, CGTN, Tulsa.